back and that's them both done the taxi cab and the police helicopter they're both done and unfortunately as i suspected there is no black cab driver actually with the cabbie itself there is no cabbie with the cab rather yeah i'm uh, quite happy with the overall look of the cab itself the front looks like the typical london cab the side does kind of look more like a land rover or something like that the rear looks quite appropriate for uh for the type of vehicle involved so it's a bit of a portmanteau is that the word a bit of a combination of the two um the only issue i have with this in general it's very well constructed it's just that these two bottom bits here which are supported by this bottom bit here they're different lengths they could have both easily been the same length but they're not this bit here is shorter and this bit here is longer and the instructions clearly point out that you need to have the shorter bit here and the longer bit here which makes no sense when you consider the following if you apply any pressure to the front oh it's not going to do it this time <laughs> Well, if you apply too much pressure ah, at the front of the windscreen, then it all sort of comes across, which is neat if you're trying to make some sort of uh, disaster scene. Um, but obviously you're not. See, this is the shorter one of the two by four. I don't see why they've done it like that. Um, but it does give us a good way to look into the cab itself. You can see two seats here. There is a third seat all by its lonesome in the back. Yeah, yeah. It is actually fairly easy to put these back together. It just means that most of the weight is just on this point here. And when that does actually happen, it does end up loosening some of the bricks up all, uh, all together. And you sort of need to open the doors and put, force your fingers in through here to make sure that everything's gone through properly, that all the pressure has gone through. But otherwise, it looks quite nice. Slight modification to get rid of that problem. Unless, of course, you want to have that ruined cab type look. Uh, yeah. The helicopter looks far better in person than it does on the cover. When I saw the cover, I wasn't really that impressed with it, but I thought, sod it, I'm getting the uh, police set figures, so let's go get them something fun to play with. They also do box sets. Uh, I mean, there's also a police station that they've got, and a fire station as well, and they even have a castle. Oh, oh, they have a castle. Oh, me wants it. But that'll be for another time, me thinks. But yeah, I am quite happy with the look of this especially the construction methods uh, used in constructing this it is slightly less difficult in my opinion than this was because with this every time you try to put things together because of the front issue it just kept falling apart a bit um this the only real problem i had was when i was because of the way you have to put things on as per the instructions you put this tail fin on f uh, quite early on and then you're building on to the rest of the main body um, after a few occasions of basically this happening, I just left that off and then finished building off the rest uh, and just left it that. And, ooh, ooh, yeah, that's the first time I've tried that with the uh, with the legs, the support struts and whatnot on. Uh, yeah, I didn't realise that they would fall off, but other than those two minor points in three different areas, it's relatively secure, although that said, it does seem to have loosened something up uh, in other areas there. Hmm. Right, there's the tailback. Oh, 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 tailback, as in caught in traffic. Now the instructions are uh, a lot larger, because obviously it's a lot more to it, as you can see. Can I zoom out any more than I already have? No, I'm as zoomed out as I can get. So it basically starts off here, and you have to turn around like that to see the inventory. And the first two instructions and then you gotta go 180 why they didn't just continue on like so i don't know but there you can see the front of the cab as i said earlier it's definitely the shorter of the two pieces and the longer of the two at the back makes no sense but in, in general the instructions are quite clear except maybe when it comes to sections like this where you've got two different sections that you need to go on top of, go on top of the other bit. whenever there's a new bit coming in it basically shows you those sections now on top of the old bit and it does darken the new new bits compared to the old bits on something black like this that does become a bit difficult to make out so a little bone of contention i suppose it could be suggested to whoever's in charge of this that you just sort of highlight the bits that are actually going on 
to an existing bit just to make it a little easy, you know. You've got a blue outline here to show where it goes. Maybe you've just outlined the bricks themselves in red just to make them stand out a bit more against this blue background. That might help a bit. Uh, the wheels, they don't give any sort of grip, but, you know, they do, they do, you know, work. <laughs> it just won't turn, you know, and let's face it, there's no internal mechanisms to make them turn, they just, they'll just turn, as nature intended. Or well, whoever invented the wheel intended. Whoops. Yeah, there could be one other bit here just to add a bit more security to uh, this tail fin here. But that's about it. Otherwise, we have the policewoman who's inside here. I'm not going to bother getting her out because, uh, for, for one thing, we've already got all the figures we could want. Um, one thing I'll just point out before we go any further. This is the standard design that you get on all of these different boxes. This isn't. Notice that you've got this little tab here to pull everything out with. And here, you've just got a standard old full flap thing. Not sure what's going on, I don't know if this is an older box and this is a new box. Uh, the packaging is pretty much gen generically the same in all regards, you just can't get any sort of uh, distinction made there. Ooh, it does come with a background plate. So we've got the C outside what looks like a mega blocks type city. Because it certainly isn't a real city, that's not the real photograph, that's I think an artist's impression. Oh well, we'll just put that to one side. And then we have this lovely crew. I'm suspicious about this person. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that it's supposed to be some kind of, uh, let's just put that forearm in a bit on both sides. I'm thinking it's supposed to be some kind of uh, security guard. Could just be some chauffeur maybe, could be somebody who just likes wearing a suit. He's got some sort of badge there some sort of generic logo. There's only one thing I don't like about these figures so far, and that's the way the forearms work. Notice how loose they are. Yeah, and that's simply because they're interchangeable. Not so loose on this side, I suppose, but uh, there may be a bit of mileage. And one thing I noticed when I was putting the policewoman together, yes, that is something that all the figures have. Mind you, the hat looks just like something you get from a Lego set, so I'm a little bewildered and I've, and I've just dropped it on the floor as well but I'm a bit bewildered because if that's just what I suspect it is uh, just a ripped off uh, knock off Lego hats that's been m used as a template for a mold it's probably going to be compatible with the Lego uh, because of the shape of the inside of the hat itself let's see this soldier is going to have the same thing Whoa, did he take his head off uh, yeah but yeah that thing there that just makes me I greatly suspect that if you got a Lego figure and popped it on the top of the Lego figure, it's still going to fit. But yeah, that's a fairly disgruntled looking military figure. Probably because I've just nearly tried to take his head off. Uh, I'm just, just as well he didn't come with a gun because otherwise he might want to shoot me. But uh, yeah, you've got the same problem. It's the right forearm always seems looser than the left, although the, less, the left is loose in its own right. Hmm. And we've got. What I'm assuming is a doctor of some sort. Uh, facial recognition is picking her face up. Didn't recognise the uh, the doctor. Uh, didn't recognise the soldier earlier, but it is recognising her. And again, yeah, that is a drastically. There is a wobble on both arms. It's just that it's drastically more obvious on the right. That's worrying. Now they don't come with multiple faces. Oh, I get the feeling the hair's not going to come off easily. No. Yeah, just the one face. I kind of get the feeling that she's been sampling her own medical supplies. And of course the autofocus is gone, the uh, facial recognition isn't wanting to do anything. It's not sharpening the focus at all. Yeah, that's just an ongoing problem with this. Ah well, let's go see the mystery that is this uh, guy in the helmet. Not to be confused with that guy in the glasses. That looks very much like a standard Lego helmet. It really does. Oh, it's on a lot tighter than a standard Lego helmet, though. Uh, oh, it's going to take the head off. Oh, yes, it has taken the head off. Hmm. Bit of a rough bit on the top there, but I've managed to just take that off with my thumbnail. Oh, and there we go. I've managed to get the helmet off without breaking it. Yeah, it does look like a 
every Lego helmet I've ever seen. Maybe a little bit more rounded in places, but that's it. And this guy seems to have either a fancy skull on the side of his face here, or that's supposed to be some sort of communications gear. So this guy could potentially, maybe, be a helicopter pilot. Again, the same weakness in the right forearm. It does give them a rather disjointed look here. Might be something you need to fix with a bit of glue, I don't know. And then we've got this Doctor Who arguably has the most happy face ever. The one problem with the light ring I have is that uh, if I get too close to it, it ends up casting shadows all over the place. But yeah, you can see the face. He's got a moustache that's a bit like uh, Corporal Jones from Dad's Army. He's even got glasses that look a bit like Corporal Jones. Hmm. Jones, do they like it of them? No, Mr. Manring, they don't. Yeah, nobody in that show ever said that line. Or oh, if they did say that line, they said a lot better than I can. Right, where are those cops? They're right here. I'm a criminal. And in this case, you've got a background that is just a generic uh, board. Yeah, it's just a generic plate for uh, building things on. Or at least a photograph of. It's a very, very um, hmm, damaged crumbled somehow and yet the box has no damage on it whatsoever. It must have been a packaging issue. I'm not going to bother getting these out because there's no need but looking at them they're quite a nice selection, nice variety of styles and whatnot. There is more effort going into the faces here than what you get with Lego that's for sure. Now only uh, you know and they're only providing one face, one face per skull so that's rather nice. Same hair sculpt on these two same uh, sculpted Actually, it's the same hairpiece on all three of these people. It's just that this is grey and these two are brown. And they have obviously the same cap, but yeah. Otherwise, this is quite a nice collection. I think I can quite happily recommend them overall. Despite the slight problem with the arm on the right hand side, even looking at them in the packaging like this, you can see in all cases the right arm is always the weakest, it's the least connected of the two. Okay, you can see straight away that's without these having ever came out. But despite that one minor niggle, from what I can see it's a good high quality set. Slight little problem, yes, but hopefully that's something they'll sort out in future batches. They look good, they pose quite well, as well as the Lego counterparts do, and they do sort of have <laughs> the autofocus doesn't want to know, but uh, now it does. They do have generally nicer expressions. Now you, my friend, when this is all over, I shall find your cap and cover up that gaping hole. That's the one thing I don't think I, I like at all, the gaping holes. Well, I suppose that's the one way they could uh, think of uh, avoiding too many copyright infringers uh, from Lego. But yeah. They're nice, they're good. If you can get them, get them. I don't know as yet if you can get them outside the, of the UK. If you can, I'll let you know. Bye for now.